Um, so Peter, tell us who you are, where you're from and what your prize is today, please. Hello everyone, uh, welcome. I'm Peter Grace from Bespoke Travel Marketing. Uh, we handle the sales and marketing in the UK and Europe for this lovely new five-star hotel um, called Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. Now, I hope everybody's going to be paying attention to the webinars and information. I've got a £50 credit voucher to, or a $60 US dollar voucher towards your My Booking Rewards account. So thank you for joining us today. Many thanks. Do Pepita, we're looking forward to hearing from you later. Now, quick question for you. Can you still say you're the newest hotel in Barbados? Um, well, sort of. Newest five-star hotel. Yeah, exactly. We're the newest five-star okay. hotel resort in Barbados and the largest as well. Hey, excellent. Super. Well, thank you very much, Peter. We also have Lucy. Lucy, hello. How are you doing? Uh, hello. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lucy and I'm here today representing Playa Hotel and Resorts. So we have all-inclusive properties in Mexico, Jamaica and Dominican Republic. And I hope you'll all be paying attention today as we'll be giving away £50 slash $60 um, to one of you um, on your Playa Rewards account. Super, thank you very much. Um, we also, last but not least, we have got Sophie and her team. Um, Sophie, would you like to introduce yourself and everybody else? Hi, my name is Sophie. I work for LJR Consultancy and we are representing today um, the Alma Resort in Vietnam in Cameron. And I have my colleagues um, who have come live from Vietnam and there is Mina and Koi. And um, this is a relatively new resort. We opened during COVID, so it's really new to the market and we want to tell you all about it. And as per the other two, I will be giving away the same vouchers to be used, used through the system. Super, thank you very much, Sophie. Would you take us across um, to discover your hotel? I will do so straight away. Oh, I need to go back to the beginning. Sorry, hold on a sec. Oh, oh, useless me, sorry, apologize. Let me just go back to the beginning again. <clears throat> I think I've just lost you, shit. Where did I go? Okay, here we go. Best laid plans and everything. Okay, let's go. We can't see it, Sophie. You can't hear me? No, you've stopped sharing your screen. So you st you stopped sharing so none of us can see it. We can just see you. Oh, but that's really helpful. We need to that's press share screen again. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I apologise. Um, let me put you on big again. God, honestly, I haven't seen something there. Okay, here we go. Start again. Yeah, you've started now. Started sharing. Sorry. So, um, the Alma Resort opened in, um, gosh, tail end of 2019. So um, we are very new to market. Cameron is a relatively new destination. Um, you may not have heard about it. You may have heard of properties in Nha Trang. If you see on the map down here, we are just above Nha Trang here. So uh, below actually, see, coming here. And it's located in the middle of Southern Vietnam. And it is on arguably one of um, Vietnam's best beaches. So I'm going to briefly take you through. We haven't got a lot of time, so it's a lot to go through. And the accommodation consists of suites and pavilions, which are um, located um, on uh, immediately facing the beach. So I'm going to go through. So the, the suites are located in two towers and we've got some fabulous suites here. They are huge. They lead in at 70 square meters. Absolutely beautiful, very contemporary style, very different to the rest of Asia. So your clients are gonna really enjoy kind of a lot of home comforts here rather than, um, rather than having to compromise. You get vast beds within each of the suites. You've also got a kitchenette area, a large dining room. You've got flat screen TVs, intelligent air conditioning. It's very high tech and a beautiful um, view going through. As the suites get larger, you've got the one, two and three bedrooms and they have these amazing wraparound balconies that you can walk out through the glass front so you can actually go out into a five, you know, five foot deep and actually really kind of have the most amazing views of the sunrise and the sunsets. So they come with all the mod cons. Now the villas are located in, in our pavilions. The pavilions are two story. Upstairs we have 
beautiful two bedrooms where we have um, jacuzzis on the balcony. And then downstairs, we have a three bedroom villa, which can be sold as a one, two or three bedroom. Now, this main picture now shows the lounge area. And to the right, you can see a door which will take you through to the bedroom. And um, you'll be able to see here a large view of them. So they're vast. They've got stunning pools that are really good swimming pools that take you straight out, as you can see on the left image there, straight to views of the ocean. Um, what's really nice about this, we've got three rows of them. And um, the front row looks straight onto the ocean. But the second and the third row, also, you can have really good ocean front views. Um, they just don't walk straight out. Um, we've got, it's an enormous actually hotel. It has a vast amount of space, but you don't feel as if you're in a big property. You're in an area where everywhere is very spacious. Um, all the facilities are very spread out. So you don't feel on top of each other. We've got up to 12 um, food and beverage outlets spread all, spread all around the resort. We've got Atlantis, which is our seafood restaurant, which has speciality dining in pagodas on the beach. You see you're undercover here. We also have La Casa, which is our um, uh, a la carte uh, Italian dining. It does amazing breakfast in here as well. And we have Asiana, which is our um, Asian restaurant. Um, started off initially to be Japanese, but actually takes in all different flavors now to a cater for a variety of different tastes and needs. Shh. Sorry, my dog, I do apologize. Um, We've got a number of other outlets. The Alma Garden is our breakfast venue with a vast array of all different foods for all different nationalities. The pool bar, which serves pool and drinks, uh, um, drinks and food all day. And then we've got the Alma Lounge, which comes off from the reception area, which has a wide variety of different um, cuisines from like your burgers to your Asian salads and your, and your Asian um, noodles and all kinds of food, food that you'd need. Um, we have a, um, quite a funky little American bar. You can get some mean cocktails in here, watch your favorite sports, play pool, just hang out with some friends of the evening upstairs. They've got cool little karaoke booths as well. So you can entertain each other with your friends, which is really nice and fun to do. Um, this is actually the Alma food court. The Alma food court is very popular for breakfast and it's also a really good place to go for lunch. You've got a wide variety of outlets here in um, kind of like a pop-up restaurant. So you've got like a bakery area, you've got noodle bars, you've got a burger area. So it's, um, it's a really nice cool air conditioned area. You can go in and cool down during the day and just chill. Very nice. Um, what's really important um, for the resort is that it doesn't just cater for one market. We do amazing children's facilities, but we also have a really good area for adults and it also caters well for groups. So it can really tick everyone's boxes. Um, at the moment here, I just want to go through what we actually have for kids, because I think that's a really important in order to launch this in our market. So you'll see in the screen here, this is a bit of a snapshot of what we offer. We have a large water park. We've got tennis courts, multi sports area. We've got a great a mini golf section on the top right. You'll see an area which we've allocated for the teens, which has pool tables, Xbox, PlayStation areas. We've got these nice little simulators you can go in. And that leads into um, one of the state of the arts golf simulators that is more for like the golfers. There is a championship golf course nearby and we do get a lot of golfing clients who come into the resort. On the left of the screen, you'll see a little kind of science exhibit over here. We have a really cool science museum type area where it's a really good exploratory educational area for the younger kids. Top of the screen here in the baby kind of younger kids area, we've got like a soft play area with some nice little indoor tubes and areas for them to explore through. For kind of evenings where you want to kind of chill with the, with the kids or kind of light afternoons where you've got a little shower of rain, maybe in the rainy season, we've got an amazing 70 seater cinema that shows movies during the day and it shows great Disney favorites with some blockbusters and some rom-coms as well. So it's for all different kinds of clients. We've got a fabulous spa that has up to 13 treatment rooms. It has an area for yoga classes and Tai Chi as well. We've got a huge gym as well, which caters for um, all your needs and wants. And these are the hours that are available for all of the facilities. So there is an awful lot to do. We've Obviously, it's really important in Asia with the, with the pull and sustainability coming up. And we're doing a huge amount around the resort to, um, to show how we're doing that. So the beach cleanups are really important. We've got a nice little nursery with chicken farm. We've got two sets of gardens and we're constantly 
improving on these things and a huge um, solar um, uh, program in place to make the um, solar energy um, power most of the villas. We've got some already in place now and that should be in place over the next year or so. I think it's important to understand that the resort itself offers so much. So we really want to encourage people to come for like a longer stay single center than rather than going to the beach in Thailand, you can now send them to Vietnam. We've got an amazing 15 kilometer uh, beach. As you can see here, um, I go through what's, what's available in the area, but Cam Ranh itself is just out of the city center of what would like, Nha Trang would be very much more built up. Cam Ranh is more spread out. So around it, you've got some really amazing areas to go where you can go um, to um, Bin Lap Island, which is a beautiful area close by the resort where you've got some really amazing diving. Here we've got some great woodland retreats. This is quite nice. You can go up to the forest. You can do zip lining here as well. There are also some areas where you can do hot springs and have mud, uh, mud baths as well. So it's a really kind of eclectic mix. Typically, you've got a lot of cultural, so you can go to temples, you can go to pagoda centuries, we take um, guests out to the night markets to really experience the local kind of feel, you go to um, mango farms, and there's a hell of a lot to be able to really do. But I think the Piesta Pies Resistance is definitely the beach which is literally in front of our resort, which is a 15 kilometer size beach, we have um, a, a vast area of, of beautiful sand it's very clear caribbean style beach clear water very safe very shallow we've got some amazing um a setup out there some very private pavilions areas and going out and being able to use the kayaks and the paddle boards out there as well um we can also do some speciality events this was a recent wedding that we did at the resort that was really popular but i think it's just important to really understand how how beautiful it is and how knew it is in the market so it's a real um pull for your clients so we've recently um won a huge amount of awards we've just been voted the number one resort in southeast asia and we've been highlighted for best family hotels so i really don't want you to feel that um the the family element is going to impact on the on the couple's um uh, experience because we're actually what we have in the resort is actually enough space that you can feel that you're not on top of each other. There's water parks and areas are right down the far side. You wouldn't notice that if you were in your pavilions. So I think that's actually a really important. So hopefully I've managed to cover everything with that. Guys, did I cover everything? Mina, Koi? Okay. Yeah, we well, you well. did. did I do everything? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was very fast. So, um. You mentioned that that beach. Um, do you have any photographs of it? Can we see yes, it again? Did I not show you pictures of the beach? We, we was... did, but it was it was hidden on a. Um, there was like a slide in front of it, so the whole. So show us show us the video again. Okay, I'll show you the video again. Um, and oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a bit. Speak speak very fast. I've done it again. I've taken the share off again, haven't I? Sarah, this is. I'm not very good at this today. <laughs> me. I'm just being a bit useless. Hold on. Okay. It shows the video so we can see that beautiful beach. I'm going to go to the bigger one. You can see that that's what's happened. It's come off the screen. And Put it onto um, full screen. Hang on. Full screen. Yeah. So, oh, we've got actually 12 pools. You see on the left hand side of the screen they go right from the top all the way down to the bottom and you've got a really good combination where you've got some that are with activities some with bars some with very much kind of jacuzzi jets some adults only some catering much more for the kids and so you've got a, everything for all tastes and all 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 um all wants and needs so you would never feel that it's crowded here lovely all the buggies um will take you around the resort all the time it's really quite high tech you've got little qr codes at the buggy stops where you scan them on your phone and the buggy will come and pick you up so um it's um yeah quite high tech i think because we have a um it's been built really recently i think we've been able to really kind of um, engage with the technology and i think that's really important in this day and age super thank you very much sophie um, so we're now leaving the Far East. We're popping over to Barbados. Peter, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Sarah. Well, welcome, everybody. 
Delighted to see everybody today. So greetings and welcome to the lovely island of Barbados in the sunny Caribbean Sea. So this new hotel uh, opened in October last year, a Wyndham Grand Barbados, and it is Sam Lord's newest five-star luxury all-inclusive resort. Um, it's been built by the government of Barbados as a new strategy to diversify the type of accommodation available on the island. So there's no other hotel on the island like this hotel. Um, it's family friendly. It's 422 rooms in size. So it is actually quite a large hotel. Um, and it's situated on this lovely stretch of beach. Now, this is the Sam Lord's estate. And I ask you, who was this guy, Samuel Hall Lord, or Sam Lord for short? So Samuel Hall Lord was, he lived in the 1800s, um, so a, a figure of historic importance. He lived in this castle, which is why it's called the Sam Lord's Castle. Well, it's not actually really a castle. It's more like um, a British manor house. Um, and what, how, how Sam Lord actually made his money was, was not very nice. He was a bit of a pirate and a vagabond, and he used to plunder ships that used to be heading for Bridgetown Harbour. Um, and as they approached the island of Barbados, he got his band of merry men and women to hang lanterns in the trees that run from the, the manor house here at the castle down to the beach. In these trees here, the, um, the lanterns used to confuse the arriving ships, and they used to think they were arriving into Bridgetown itself, into the harbour. So what they used to do is to navigate inward towards the land, and just offshore here off the beach are a number of reefs, coral reefs, upon which the ships then ground themselves, broke apart. So what then Samuel used to do is order his merry, merry men and women out to plunder the ships, steal the cargo, and that's how he became a very wealthy buccaneer. So a nasty piece of work. So this hotel is a bit of a game changer for the island um, as part of a tourism initiative strategy to create a different form of accommodation on the island. So where are we? We're located on the southeast coastline of the island, um, about 15 minute transfer from the international airport, airport called BGI. It's called Grand Adam International Airport. Bridgetown is about half an hour away, that capital city where the harbour is. The south coast, which is party central with Oystens and St Lawrence Gap, is about 45 minutes away. Then you've got the, the, east, the west coast of the island with Hull Town and other lovely beaches on that area. Now, we're not far away from the east coast. Now, the east coast is the Atlantic coastline of Barbados. It's open to the Atlantic waves, and, and Bathsheba, for example, where my pointer is, is one of the premier surfing beaches of the Caribbean. Um, so a guest at Wyndham Grand Barbados can enjoy the beach which is on site, but also a short drive away, 20 minutes away, is some of the best surfing beaches where you can surf, kite surf, and wind surf as well. Barbados has a lot of history associated with it. Not only it's good, because obviously it comes from a plantation era, but you've got lovely plantation houses to visit. Sugarcane is still a very important part of the island's export. So it's a lovely island to explore. We would encourage guests to get out, hire a car. We also offer shuttle transfers to some key points during the week, complimentary for guests um, to explore the island, which is a free of charge shuttle transfer to various points, including Oystins, which on a Friday evening is the place to be for the lovely fish fry every Friday evening on the beach. Very local, very Bayesian, and a lovely place to go. So on arrival from the airport, your guests are welcomed by the Breezeway lobby. So this is the arrival experience at the property. Grand imposing architecture. As I mentioned, this is a brand new build. So this hotel only opened in October last year. So on arrival, your guests are welcomed into the Breezeway. If they're individual guests, they check in on the reception area on the right. But if you're a group arriving, then you check in separately on the left. You walk to the end of the Breezeway and then you actually look out over the balcony into the main central swimming pool area. We've got lots of shade in the in the in the around the swimming pools. This happens to be a family-friendly swimming pool in the middle of the resort. Uh, lounges, shaded um, parasols, but also cabanas are available. And they're com currently complimentary this summer for guests staying at the property. In total, we have six swimming pools, five of which are located in the main resort area. And we also have a sixth one located in the spa. I mentioned we are the largest property on the island. We've got 422 rooms and suites. Now, the nice thing about this property is it was built in a modern style. So the rooms are very spacious. They all have very large balconies and they're built all facing towards the ocean. 
Now we have a number of rooms that are resort view, but we also have a number of rooms that are full ocean view. All the suites, all 37 suites are full ocean view suites. So they're very spacious, modern and contemporary. They all have lovely large balconies. This happens to be the balcony of one of the one bedroom suites. Um, but this is our standard room. We don't call them standard rooms because they are far from standard. This is a deluxe resort view room with a king bed. So this, in, this is the smallest room. It's 650 square foot in size, including the balcony. You have a, a large oversized king bed in the middle of the room. The headboard backs onto a desk behind it, which is where you'll find uh, your desk writing area. You've got tea and coffee making machines, and we include Nespresso coffee machines uh, replenished daily with the, the Nespresso capsules. Uh, a separate kettle. We have a mini bar that is also stocked daily. It's stocked with waters, soft drinks, sodas, uh, juices, and beers as well. Then you have that door into the bathroom area and their lovely large marble bathroom. So this is the standard room at the property or the lowest price room. We also have a number of ocean view, a large number of ocean view rooms. And this happens to be a deluxe ocean view room with two separate queen beds. Great for families. Two adults and two children, or four people in total, can, can be accommodated in this room. Um, but also we have a large number of deluxe king bedrooms that connects into deluxe rooms with two queen beds. Um, that can actually open up a capacity of two adults and up to five children. So great for families, and the resort is a very family-friendly resort. Spacious balconies, as you can see. Now, the bathrooms are gorgeous marble bathrooms. Um, very beautiful, uh, separate WC shower, bath, two granite sinks, so really lovely bathrooms. Now, the property was built with accessible travellers in mind. And we have 21 rooms that have been created for guests that have mobility challenges. So um, all the bathrooms have been specifically built with grab rails. There's no steps at all. There's wider doorways, perfect for um, guests who are either in a wheelchair or have mobility challenges. These are bookable as a specific room type as this property. So you can go in, book a mobility accessible room with either resort view or with a, an ocean view. So really catering. And, and, and the beauty is that the whole property has step-free access throughout, apart from the access to the beach, which does involve a few steps. So all the swimming pools, bars, restaurants, and other facilities are available with step-free access. Now we move into the lovely one bedroom suites. We've got the terrace suite, which is a very large suite, and two separate balconies for all the suites. And they're all on the higher floors of the rooms and they all have full ocean view rooms. The living room of the terrace suite, very spacious. Um, in the central bar, you've got a wet bar, um, but you also have the minibar stocked, the Nespresso coffee machine, and that's available through all the rooms. 24 hour room service is available throughout the property and it's inclusive within the all inclusive program at this resort. Um, the next category up is the Ember Suite. So lovely Ember Suite. This is dual aspect of the bed bedroom. So two balconies actually off the bedroom area. Then the Zephyr Suite is the next category up, even larger. Um, and the lovely suite we currently have in operation is the Ocean Suite. Now this has is the largest of all the suites. We've got four of these. And we also, uh, they also have large oversized balconies with a soaking hot tub out on the balconies. So modern, contemporary, very spacious. And the nice thing, they're all very light and open. And remember, they all face towards the ocean. There's nothing facing inland at this resort. We are an all-inclusive resort. And what does that mean? We include all meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, snacks throughout the day and into the evening, fully stocked mini bar, replenished daily, um, 24 hour room service, seven days a week. So the international brand name spirits that we serve from all the bars would include vodka brands like Absolute um, or Stolichnaya Vodka. Um, if the guests wish to upgrade to a top shelf premium brand like Grey Goose or uh, Chirok or Belvedere Vodka, they can, but there's a small additional supplement payer locally and chargeable to the room account if they wish to upgrade to the best. But we include good quality international branding spirits, cocktails and beers, wine by the glass, and lots of activities at this property. We have a great choice of restaurants. Um, the Mediterranean market is our largest all day dining, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's buffet style, but also serves a la carte. By the name, you can, you can understand it's inspired by the cuisine of the Mediterranean region. Changes daily, um, but also we have um, 
a, a very, you know, a, adventurous chef at the resort, and he themes cuisine different days of the week. Castle View is our adult only, or over the age of 13, 13 and above. It's our steak and seafood restaurant, so it's our fine dining restaurant at the property. That's called Castle View, because it looks towards the view of Castle of Sam Lord's Castle. Burns Cask is our uh, adult only rum bar that serves over 90 different types of rum. And did you know that Barbados was the home of rum, where it was invented several hundred years ago, and now it is a global drink. So Burn Cask se celebrates all of that. Sam Lord's Grill is a more casual uh, dining affair, poolside, um, open air dining as well. Snacks, elevated American fare like burgers, wraps, pizza, salads, etc. The Lantern Pool Bar. It plays homage to Sam Lord and how he got his very uh, industrious men and women to actually hang the lanterns in the trees that lead down to the beach. So this is another view of the beach and the whole resort. So you can see it sits on a, on a, on a bluff, a cliff top, so a limestone cliff top. And um, you can see where the castle is here uh, on the left. And you have a number of steps, 30 steps that lead down onto the beach here. Uh, this was taken before, this is an aerial picture, before the furniture was placed on the beach. And we now have lounges on the beach. So lots of, of space to sh chill out and relax on the beach. You've got a swimmable area here, and we have a lifeguard on duty on the beach to decide whether it's the right conditions for swimming or whether we prefer you to, to remain on land and not swim if the conditions and the waves are high. Lots of other activities. We've got, as I said, six separate swimming pools. We've got pickleball courts. We've got tennis courts. We've got a wonderful gymnasium, fully equipped and fitness center. Lots of activities available throughout the day. The golf course, the Barbados Golf Club, is about half an hour drive away. But you also have several other golf courses on the island of Barbados. Barbados. It is a golfer's mecca. Don't forget those East Coast Atlantic beaches. Great for surfers, windsurfing, kite surfing, and regular surfing as well. So lots for the active customer. We are family friendly, so great children's facilities and families are very welcome. Remember, we've got large spacious rooms, lots of interconnecting rooms, but the children's club is available and it's, it's focusing on children aged between four and 12 years of age. That's the core age group. Children under four years are welcome, uh, but they either need to be accompanied by their adult, their parent or a guardian, um, or they need to be potty trained, basically. Uh, teenagers can dip in and dip out, but the, the, the teenagers tend to be more independent and want to do more of the activities that are available at the resort. So, for example, daytime activities include arts and crafts, uh, sandcastle making, bracelet and jewelry making, face painting, nature walks, etc. Then in the evening, you've got a program that keeps the children entertained while the parents can go and have dinner on the property at one of the restaurants. Talent shows, mini disco, fashion shows, movie nights, lots to keep everybody entertained. There's board games available, and there's also computer games as well. Uh, babysitting services are available, but they are charged as an additional extra at a rate of approximately $15 per hour. Uh, but the kids' club access is complimentary and inclusive for all children staying at the property. For adult guests, we have a glorious spa. Um, seven treatment rooms. All the types of treatments you would think of a lovely luxury spa. Um, manicures, medicures, massages, facials, wraps, and, and scrubs. Also, we have a hairdressing salon, a nail salon, and that's located right next to the, to the spa as well. Um, they're located in the courtyard area of the property as you enter the resort. Um, and we're also a very popular wedding destination. It's very easy to get married in Barbados from a legal perspective. There's not much red tape. Um, the team on property, the wedding organizers, will take care of all the details. We have a number of wedding packages available from the simple just the two of us wedding where you can get married as a couple or a grander affair with larger family groups. We've got the largest ballroom on the island, but we also have lots of other outside uh, event space as well. Event space including in front of the, um, the castle, so the castle lawn. Is a great place to get married on, either get married on the beach or on the lawn, or, or have a banquet on the lawn itself if you've got a, a larger party and want to be outside. Um, we are a very good conference and meeting event venue as well. So we have the largest ballroom on the island of Barbados, of any hotel. Um, that can take up to 800 people in theatre style, banqueting 700 people. So a really good spacious meeting facility with breakout rooms. But I guess most of your customers and, 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 and clients are going to be on holiday. 
So I'm going to play you a very quick video that hopefully brings the property alive and you can see a bit more. We can't see the video, Peter. We've got conference and meetings. Oh, hang on. It's coming on now for the this delay, yeah. Delay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining us today. I hope that was useful and informative. Um, I will send you, uh, in, I mean, have access to travel agent rates if you want to go and explore the island and stay at Wyndham Barbados. Barbados. We have discounted travel agent rates, saving 40% of best available rates. So that's a great idea uh, for this summer. Uh, but also the 40% discount runs year round. So if you want more information about that, please email me. I'll send you some information in the chat a little later on how to do that. But also I'll send you access to, to download fact sheets um, and, and view more information. There's, there's images of the property and links to the website as well. But you can go on to windenbrandbarbados.com and that is the hotel's own website. So thank you everybody for joining me today and joining the, all of us. I will then pass back to Sarah it was going to hand over to Lucy, I think. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. If anybody has any questions for Peter, please pop them into the Q&A for the attention of Peter. Um, so we're now leaving Barbados. We're moving over to the Dominican Republic. Lucy, it's all yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I will just share my screen. Let me, let me get on the full screen first. It was there a minute ago. Yeah, I just needed to click the share sound. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. So hello everyone. I'm here today from Playa Hotel and Resorts. So I'll be talking to you about some of our hotels that we have across the Dominican Republic. So starting off with our brands, in total, Playa, we have seven brands. So we have Hyatt, Ziva and Zalara, which is our adult only and family brands. And then we have the Hilton All-Inclusive. We have Wyndham Ultra All-Inclusive, Jewel, Sanctuary Capcana, the Tapestry by Hilton and Sea Dust. So the hotels that I'll be talking to you about today fall under the Hyatt brand, the Hilton brand, the Jewel brand, Sanctuary, and I'll be touching um, a little bit on the Wyndham brand and what we have coming up this year. Um, so just to give you an overview of where our hotels are located, as I said at the start of the webinar, we are located in Mexico, Jamaica and Dominican Republic. So focusing on Dominican Republic today, you can see that we have hotels mainly located in Punta Cana, we have our Hilton Hotels located in La Romana, and we actually have a property that opened March 2024, not too far from, San, just a few hours away from Santo Domingo, we have the Wyndham Ultra Seminar. So why choose Playa? What sort of makes us stand out? Well, one thing that is key for Playa is that we provide service from the heart. So in everything that we do, we believe in um, service from the heart when it comes to guest experience, um, when it comes to service, food, drinks, and everything. On top of that, it, all of our resorts are all inclusive. So we provide unlimited gourmet dining. No reservations are required at our hotels. Guests are free to walk in if they want to. Um, but for some of our um, smaller restaurants, the concierge team are able to arrange reservations where required. Endless drinks, and we have top of the shelf spirits. We have daily um, activities during the day and also at night. So the guests are always entertained at all of our property. 24 hour room service, 
non-motorized water sports. And then we also cater to families at our family properties. So we have a kids club, which ranges from ages four to 12. And then we also have our teen zones, which range from age 13 to 17. So we're really family friendly. And for guests that have children under the ages of four, we also offer babysitting service at an additional cost. And again, like I said, everything is about our heartfelt service. So I'm just gonna play a quick video for you, which will just give you a quick overview on some of the Playa properties. So that's just a quick little overview for you. So starting with our Hilton brand, Hilton in the Dominican Republic, we have a mixture of both adult only and family friendly properties. Um, so the Hilton brand we would always say is perfect for couples at the adult only resorts, perfect for families or friends, anyone looking for an affordable but premium all inclusive option. We have a wide variety of food and beverage offerings at our restaurants, from buffet-style restaurants to Italian to Pan-Asian. The hotels have it all. Endless fun with daily and nightly entertainment. And you sort of have that home away from home feel when staying at the Hilton Resorts. So just showing you Hilton La Romana, which is one of the top selling hotels in the UK. And I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with this resort globally. So... On the left side here, we have the family resort. You can see the water park in the background. And in the yellow ring, we have the adult side. And the great thing about this property is for guests over the age of 18, whether you book the family side or the adult side, you're able to enjoy the am amenities at both resorts. But unfortunately for the kids, they have to stay on the um, family side, but I'm sure they'll have a lot of time to explore the water park. So just to touch on some USPs um, of the family side, the Hilton La Romana Resort is located in the Baye Bay area, 45 minutes away from Punta Cana Airport. We have 418 modern and newly renovated rooms at this property, five restaurants and eight bars and lounge lounges. Some of the um, activities that you're able to do at this resort, so you're able to practice diving. We have snorkeling excursions available, um, Guests can escape and go and explore some mystical islands. And then we also offer a banana boat ride. One of the top selling USPs of the family resort is the water park. I know when I was there myself, I was probably using the water park more than the children. Um, there's a food truck located right by the water park. So guests don't have to worry about drying up and going back inside to dine. They're able to do everything and stay there for as long as they want. As mentioned previously, if you're over the age of 18, whether you book the adult side or the family side, you're able to visit the water park and all the other amenities on the family resort. We have a kids club available and a teen zone. And yeah, just a lot of amazing sort of qualities for families like a theater um, and banquet seating, et cetera. And this is just an aerial view of the property where you can see some of the pools and the amazing, amazing beachfront. Moving on to Jewel Resorts. So this is our four star property, um, affordable for all ages, so for families as well as adult only. Um, Jewel is perfect for, I would say, families, friends, couples, anyone can have a great experience at this resort. It's at a very amazing price point and you have the feel of a tropical paradise when you're at this resort. So that is just an aerial view of the property over there. So we only have one property in the Dominican Republic that falls under the Jewel brand, which is Jewel Palm Beach. So this hotel is located in Punta Cana. We have 500 rooms and suites at this property, 15 food and beverage outlets. It also has a kids and teens club and 24 hour room service. 
and just 20 minutes away from the hotel and located close by to golf courses. So also very popular for any guests you have that would like to golf. It's just a 15 minute duration from this resort. And those are just some images of the pools at Jewel Palm Beach. Moving up to Capcana. So this is an aerial view of our sanctuary Capcana, which is actually now under the Marriott brand. So sanctuary is your all-inclusive adult resort. So this is an adult only property. It's very popular for guests um, that are honeymooning or you know just want the perfect retreat, the perfect escape. You have your castle feel when you're staying at this property. So we have 324 suites and villas available at this property, five restaurants, seven bars and lounges, 24 hour room service, and we have a world renowned spa and fitness center. There's a nightclub on this property with six pools, ranging from pools with entertainment to quiet pools. So we cater to whatever the guest wants to do. They have it available. Um, but only one of the pools has a swim up bar, which I'm sure you can guess which one is the popular pool. We have two level suites available on a private island. There's a private white sand beach at this property. And you also have access to Sanctuary Town where it's staying at this resort. And what's new to this hotel is we have a new spa experience where guests are able to enjoy outdoor treatments at the Castle Beach. And still staying in Capcana, we're moving on to our Hyatt Zalara brand, which is our five-star adult-only resort. So this would be your ultra luxury um, five-star resort for guests, you know, looking for the most amazing experiences in Capcana. So we say that this hotel is perfect for, you know, the sophisticated adult that wants to relax, pamper themselves and unwind. Exclusively 18 plus, as with all of our adult-only properties, you can enjoy stunning beachfront locations, amazing views in all of our rooms, complimentary mini bars included at this resort, gourmet dining and nightly entertainment, as well as the all important 24 hour room service. And then our Hyatt Zebra brand, which is the sister property, the family resort, is luxury five star, but family friendly. So all ages are welcome at this property. Um, again, you can expect a similar feel as what you would have at Hyatt Zalara, but just more catered towards families. So we have a kids and teens club and entertainment for guests, for family guests, as well as for children. So this is just an aerial view of the property where you can see they're side by side, um, the adult only property and then the family property. So just to touch on some information on both of the resorts, they're both located 15 minutes away from the airport. So starting with our family brand, Hyatt Ziva, we have 375 spacious suites with private balconies, 46 swim up seats, suites available at this resort, six restaurants and seven bars and lounges. There is a water park available at this property with a lazy river, so really popular for families. There's a hydrotherapy circuit available um, at the spa. And the adult guests are able to enjoy the facilities at both Ziva and Zalara. On the adult side of the property, we have 375 contemporary living spaces. So all oceanfront rooms, swim up suites are also available at this property and six restaurants and seven bars and lounges. So for an adult, they're able to enjoy up to 12 restaurants and double the amount of bars and lounges as they can use the amenities at both resorts. Moving on to Wyndham Ultra, our Wyndham Ultra brand. So Ultra standing for all-inclusive travel for all. This is our upper mid-scale property, resort, resort collections, should I say. So in the slide here, we've got our Mexico properties as we have opening in November this year, Wyndham Ultra Punta Cana. So this will be available to book very soon. Um, but just to give you some information on the property that we're really excited about. So it's located in Punta Cana, very close to where Jewel Palm Beach is. So about 20 minutes away from the airport. It's going to have one of the largest free form swimming pools in the Dominican Republic, but specifically in the Punta Cana area. We have the water park and the lazy river, 20 plus dining and drinking experiences 
It will include a kids club with a pirate ship playground. So very new for the Playa brand. Daily activities will be included in this property. And I don't have images available to show you of the property just yet, but what I can share with you is some of the renders, just so you can have a look and feel of what this property will look like um, once it opens in November. So some really exciting news coming. Um, so I hope that's inspired you all to get booking some of our Dominican Republic fam trip, um, sorry, um, properties, as we do have a fam trip competition that we're currently running. So for anyone that logs a booking on Playa Rewards to any of our properties, um, by September the 13th, you will win a chance to our Dominican Republic fam trip in December. So all you have to do is log your bookings and you'll be in with a chance to join us and see the brand new Wyndham Ultra Cancun. Um, so we'll share all of this detail with you in the follow up. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all your bookings and hosting you with us in December in Dominican Republic. And as always, I hope you are all members of our rewards program. It's your one-stop shop for all things Playa. Register your booking and you can earn cash and free night stay. Access to our media library, sales tools, including all our fact, sheet, fact sheets and travel agent reference guides, access to the Playa webinars, and you can also enjoy live site inspections of the properties, as well as pre-recorded webinars. I've also included the contact details here for you all for your market manager of UK and Spain, which is Nicola Francis. So in case you want to have any questions and would like to follow up, these are the contact details of who you would contact at Playa. And that is it from me. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much, Lucy, for the whistle stop tour around the Dominican Republic. So loving it. Thank you very much. Um, so let's see now if we've got any questions. I know that um, Koi has been busy answering a couple of questions behind the scenes. Um, I know there's been some in chat. Um, I think this was relating to you, Sophie, about where can they, where can we book? Uh, what tour operators are we able to book with? Um, so yeah, I think I can answer that further down. I'm going. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've kind of got a bit slightly, slightly presentation envy. I went through way too fast and missed out so much. So I'm going to follow up with everyone. <laughs> and make sure that everyone has all the details that they need who they can book with all the special offers all the facilities and everything so don't worry if i was a little bit brief you will get a full detail breakdown of everything you need and please feel free to contact me for any other information brilliant and um peter did you see the one from portia about the um 15 for the babysitting fee was is it 15 dollars? she's asking yes it is i did respond it's 15 dollars okay. per hour uh, for up to three children uh, for babysitting services at the resort. The Kids Club is complimentary access for all children staying at the property with their parents. Super. Thank you very much. Okay. And let me just check here. <clears throat> um, Doreen's just asking, this is for all properties. How are the food allergies handled um, and accessibility? So Doreen, Peter's already told you about the accessibility Um at the hotel with the ramps, um, no steps, and the, was it 12 or 20, 20 rooms, um, accessible rooms? 21 mobility accessible rooms. Ah, so, 21, um, 21. Yeah. So those can be booked as individual room types. So they can be in the system. You can, if you book through a tour operator, they will have them loaded as a separate room type. Um, same with, with via a, a hotel wholesaler, like a bed bank, like a hotel beds or beds online, for example. Um, or directly with Wyndham, if you so wish. Um, from an allergies perspective, the hotel caters to vegetarians, vegans, and celiacs. So we do request, a, ideally in advance, notification of a special dietary requirement. Vegetarian is easy, vegan is easy. Celiac is something that we want to obviously make sure that the, the guest with, with gluten intolerance is well looked after. So those, those are the core um, allergy um, that we, we energy specifications or types of dietary requirements that we cater to at Wyndham Brand Barbados. Super, thank you, Peter. Sophie, the same question for you about the um, food allergies and accessibility. I mean, accessibility. The suites are going to be the most, the easiest to get to because obviously you've got lifts and elevators going up to all of the rooms. So you've got the one to three bedroom suites which are accessible. 
the villas the, well the villas within the pavilions the ground floor is obviously going to be easier there is a slight um uh slotted kind of stone access so you know to get a wheelchair over those would be slightly more complex and then the upstairs is just stairs so if i would stick to the suites if you had excel accessibility issues um dietary requirements we do i mean you will be able to do that however obviously with any asian type resort there are obviously going to be <clears throat> complications with with the Asian restaurants because they will be you know cooking in kind of peanut oil and there will be you know some areas like that so um definitely we've got enough chefs on the property to be able to cater for any kind of special um allergies and situations like that so it's just a question of letting us know in advance so that we can prepare those things for you um but you wouldn't necessarily <clears throat> find an area per se in each of the restaurants that would be catering for you. You'll we'll have to do that on a special occasion for you. Is that Super. right, Nina? I think that's probably fine. Don't worry, unless she comes in. Super, thank you very much. And Lucy, same question for you. Um, you've got a little bit more to cover, but have you got anything specific? Yeah. Or... Um, so yeah, we are definitely able to accommodate for any dietary requirements, similar to what Peter said, if we are sort of notified in advance, um, then we always notify, um, or whoever you book with, they will notify the hotel team. Um, and then what the hotels do tend to do is um, give that information to all of the restaurants. Some of the properties may give the guest a note that they just have to present, or if it's a case of when they book a restaurant at the concierge and they would have let them know in advance of what the guest allergies are so that's sort of the same across all of the different brands and all of the different hotels and in regards to um, accessible rooms we are able to cater to accessible rooms um, so whenever you're booking the agent or the operator that you book through will be able to tell you because I've got quite a few properties it's difficult to go into detail but all of our properties do have accessible rooms at every um room category level so we'll be able to advise um what rooms are available for guests when booking and what amenities are there in terms of if they need like a ramp or a rolling shower or anything like that the hotels are able to cater for it brilliant thank you very much um ebony just asked where will we find the recording of this webinar ebony tomorrow um if you go on to mybookingrewards.com forward slash webinar it will all be on there for you. Um, but I will send a copy um, of the recording out to everybody. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. So I think that's the, the end of the question. So if everybody can go to chat, make sure that your drop down says everyone, because we're going to ask you all a little question or each host is anyway. So as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets one prize draw point. If you answer the question, fastest finger first, with the correct answer of course you get 10 points and then tomorrow i will put you all in a, a magic spin to win and let you know who the winners are when i do the follow-up and send the copy of the recording so sophie you went first would you like to go ahead first of all with your question i did i dropped this in at the end so i'm hoping that you managed to catch it but i actually said how many pools are there main pools are there at alma resort doesn't include the the pools attached to the villas. Ooh. Okay, we've got a lot of people saying 12. It Does that 12. sound yeah. like yeah. a correct is, answer? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So Becky, you were the fastest finger with the correct answer. So 12 pools. Um you've got your entries. Um Peter. Hi everyone, All right then. So at some Wind Run Barbados, Sam Lowe's Castle Resort and Spa, we have an adults only rum bar. What is the name of the adults only rum bar at Wind Grand Barbados? Well done, everyone. You were listening. I am very impressed. I am very, very impressed. Thank you so much. I'm impressed with that because I can never remember things like names of hotels and restaurants. So well um, we've got we've got a couple. Um, the first one, um, Cascale. I don't think that's correct. Is no, it's Burnt Cast. The correct burnt answer cast. is Burnt Cast, yeah. uh, serving over ninety different types of rums, of which half of them are included in the all inclusive program at that bar. So you can sample the delights of rum from all over the world in the home with of rum pleasure. In Barbados. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Um, so, uh, Marianne, you are the first person with the correct answer, so you have your 10 points. Okay, last but not least, we've got Lucy. 
So in celebration of our brand new Wyndham Ultra Punta Cana opening, I would like to know what Ultra stands for. Oh, we did cover that. Um, and listening. Ah, that's the one. That's the one. Yep. Okay, so Becky, you've got you've said ultra is all inclusive travel for all. Um, however, you've already got your ten points, so I need to pass it on to the next person. Um, oh, that's not. So, fun. I don't know. Otherwise, she'll get twenty entries. And she'll win everything. Oh. <laughs> Lorraine has said all inclusive travel for all. Is that that is correct? It's... That okay. Is correct. Lorraine, you have your 10 points as well. So a big thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you massively to Sophie, Mina, and Koi um from um the hotels live there, which is very, very late for them. So thank you very, very much. Big thank you to Peter for taking us on the dream of the castle in Barbados. And yeah, it's it's incredible. I'm loving the five-star all-inclusive. And for Lucy for covering all of the different various hotels in um, Dominican Republic and letting us know the all-inclusive travel for all with Ultra. So I learned something new today. So big thank you, everybody. Um, it's nearly the weekend, so have a great one. We'll see you all next week. And don't forget, hotels that are here today are completely trade-friendly. So if you've got a booking to send, send it their way. Thanks, everybody. Take thank care. You Take care. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Have a great Take day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.